everybody, this is Vic here and I hope you're doing well. Today we are going to cover sync things. So now I've been looking for a solution to sync files between two different computers but I was interested in actually not using Dropbox or Google Drive for it. If you know there is a bit of sensitive data that you want to be synced between two different machines. So I stumbled across sync thing and uh, this seems to be something that I'm interested in. So first of all, you know, um, it supports Linux. So if you know me, I use uh, Linux Mint uh, 18.3 and I will show you in a bit how to set this up. Uh, it's supposed to be secure and private, so that's awesome. It's encrypted, yep. And it's also open source, so I'm a big open source fan. And I've read about sync thing as well online and um, I'm just gonna go through in this video how to set it up so if you're wondering on how to set it up on your end if you're a little bit of a newbie hopefully this video will help so like I said I use uh, Linux Mint 18.3 so that's based on Ubuntu 16.04 the long-term support release so let's just check it out so we'll look at the Linux 64-bit version over here um, not actually looking at the tar so I don't know how to install the tar package. Uh, yes, there are also Debian and Ubuntu packages. Let's click on that. Okay, so we've got some instructions here on how to install it. So if you haven't worked with the command line before, it should be pretty easy, okay? A lot of it is just copy and paste, so don't be scared. So I'll just pull up a terminal here to the side. Okay, so the first thing we're going to add the uh, stable channel. Okay, I don't want any uh, unstable stuff on my system because this is a production machine. So just as simple as copy. Okay, I'm pasting it to my terminal, asking me for my password. Put that in. Okay. So this is going to add the stable channel to our resources list. Okay, that's all good. And it just wants us to update. So sudo app get update. Just gonna update our repositories. And we are going to install. So sudo app get install sync thing. There we go. Just wanna make sure we're recording. Yes, we're recording. Okay, so this is just going through. I'll probably cut through the video so that you're not sitting here waiting for it to complete. Okay, so it's finished the installation. We don't need our uh, terminal anymore, so I'm just gonna close this out. I'll maximize this again. All right, so now that we've installed sync thing, we're going to launch it, okay? So I've typed into my menu here, sync thing. We'll start the program first and then we are going to launch the web UI. Now, I have the Brave browser, so this is showing up an error. You shouldn't get this error if you have uh, Firefox or um, Google Chrome installed, so I think the Brave browser does some blocking. So I'm gonna soldier on. It worked anyway in my first experiment, so we're just gonna go ahead. So this is our dashboard, okay? So the default folder just shows us where that sync folder is located, okay? So it's in our home folder and it's called sync. So I'll open up my file manager. There it is. It should have created this folder for you and right now it's empty, okay? The next thing that we are going to do is I will just show you that um, the way that two computers will share files is through a uh, device ID, okay? So to know what the device ID is, you can click on action, show ID. Okay, I'm just gonna blur this out because uh, for privacy reasons, okay, so there you go. Now, um, I'm going to add a remote device, okay? So I'm gonna add my laptop. And if you're connected to the same um, network, it should show up, okay? So here's a device ID that shows up. I know that this is my laptop because this should be the code to my laptop, the device ID for my laptop, and I've already checked that out. So I'll click on that and I'll write down VJ laptop on here as the device name, save it. 
and now what it's going to do is on my laptop side it's going to give me a notification that my desktop wants to connect so you will have to add it on both ends okay for the sharing and the syncing to work all right so i've just added my desktop to my laptop okay so both should be sharing now and I should be able to see both now obviously you're not seeing the recorded screen on my laptop but that's okay all right now right now the default for the shared folder is right now it's unshared okay so the way that we fix that is we are going to share it so I'm going to share it with my laptop save okay I'll check my laptop side and I'll make sure that I'm also going to share my folder here. Okay, so I'll do the same thing. All right, so the default folder is now shared between the two computers, okay? So right now we don't see any action yet. So what I'll do is I pulled up the file manager here to the side, okay? And what I'll do is I'll just add a few files on my laptop and you'll see that it starts to show up on my desktop side, okay? So I'm on back on my laptop. I know you can't see it, but that's okay. All right, so I'm gonna add three different pictures, okay, to the sync folder. I'm going to refresh my desktop here a couple of times. I already added it to my laptop. It should show up pretty soon, hopefully. There we go, showed up. Now, if it doesn't work, you know, you can always try to rescan all. Now, just remember that whatever you delete in the sync folder will also get deleted on the other side. Okay. Whatever you add also gets added onto the other side. So it's just basic syncing. Okay. Play around with this. So again, it's peer to peer syncing. So it's just the two machines that are talking to each other. So it's good when you're passing around uh, files between two different machines. I haven't tested it yet over um, uh, another Wi-Fi, you know, because I'm just on my home network at the moment, but it should work. It should work over Wi-Fi. It should work over hotspot devices or whatever, whatever internet connection that you've got. Anyway, there we go. A nice private secure connection. Uh, how to between two computers. Uh, this is using Linux Mint, AKA Ubuntu. 16.04 uh, so I hope you found this helpful guys if you've got any questions feel free to email me send me a message uh, or write a comment okay and if you like videos like this I always appreciate the support so subscri subscribe to the channel or give me a like until next time I will see you later